The CMT Awards are one of the biggest nights in country music, and these were this year's biggest fashion flops. The CMT Awards are definitely a reason to celebrate, but Sammy Hagar got the party started a little too early. You wouldn't want to be pulled over in his but first tequila shirt. And if it wasn't clear enough that he was ready for the after party, Sammy even brought his own red solo cup. Happy Tequila Day. Tequila Day should be happy. You should be happy on National Tequila Day. Miley Cyrus stepped out on the 2024 Grammys red carpet with disastrous hair, and now her sister Brandy Cyrus has a wardrobe veil of her own at the CMT Awards. Brandy sported a denim dress with black accents that honestly didn't flow together at all. Worst of all, the dress just looks like something you can find at Forever 21, and the last place you'd expect to see a thing like that is a nationally broadcast red carpet. You'd think that the combo of denim and a cowboy hat would be a can't-miss look at the CMT Awards, but Raina Roberts is out here proving us wrong. The Miranda singer sported denim pants that looked like shorts turning into some bell-bottoms. If that sentence confused you, well, it was a confusing look. The denim crop top with an attached collar was equally offbeat, and not in a way that we liked. Roberts paired the look with a black hat, jacket, and tights that had cross patterns on it. There was a lot going on with the look, but not one part of it was all that good. Whenever a guy steps out on the red carpet in something other than a plain black suit, it's usually a major win. However, Cody Ballou's attempt to make a fashion statement fell flat. The musician rocked a shimmered brown suit that makes us wonder if his tailor has the rest of his jacket, because it crops about midway at his waist. Underneath the suit jacket, a whole different mess is on display, as he wore a sheer black shirt with a shimmered corset waistband that just didn't fit the look. We love it when a couple hits the red carpet, but the fashion can sometimes be a case of double trouble. Anna Christina Cash wore a black dress that looked like it got dragged through the garden due to the amount of dark flower appliques covering it. As for John Carter, he went full country with a beige cowboy hat, a white shirt with a red scarf, a brown jacket, and black jeans that were so mismatched it looked like he just picked the first things he saw in his closet. Keith Urban has hit enough red carpets that you would think he would know what to wear by now. But instead, it looks like the country music singer has had enough of the glitz and glam. The Blue Ain't Your Color singer had a snoozing when he stepped out wearing black jeans and a button-up shirt. The only interesting part of Urban's outfit, besides his tattoos, was that his button-up was ombre-styled and went from black to a lighter black. But even that's not enough to save the boring fashion choice. Because everybody's different. Yeah. Right? There's not one size fits all. There was no missing Amanda Kate Ferris on the red carpet, that's for sure. The singer went out like it was the 80s all over again, with bright colors that were a little too much for the eye. The singer wore a bright embroidered green jacket and paired it with a neon pink skirt and neon yellow shirt. As if that wasn't enough, Ferris had to bring some glitz into the questionable outfit choice, with a sparkled silver bag and silver shoes to match. Leah Turner rocked a beige cowboy hat with a denim dress, which doesn't seem too bad, right? Except that at the top of her dress was what looked like a 3D rose-inspired aspect that was a major distraction. The end of the so-called rose also led down her dress as denim material stuck out and made the look all the more confusing. Not only that, but there was also a set of fringe attached to one side of the dress, perhaps to add even more country flair to it. But nothing could have saved this look. It's not only country music stars that attend the CMT Awards, as many drivers stepped out for the award show, too. The Circle of Friends actor sported an all-black look that put us in a somber mood. It wasn't giving the glitz and glamour that we're used to seeing on the CMT Awards red carpet, and instead looked like she was heading to a funeral afterward. The only noteworthy part of her outfit was that she had a giant rose attached to one side of her blazer, but we expected more from the actor. The result was a decent outfit for the completely wrong event.